Hello there, welcome back to Denton Lane Wagon Repair Depot. Hope you're keeping well and staying safe in the current situation. This is the May layout update video, just to show you some of the things that I've been working on the layout this month. Um, done a few bits of scenic work, um, some work on the fiddle yard as well, and we've got some uh, new stock uh, that has joined the fleet this month. So I hope you enjoy the video. Once again, if you're able to, please subscribe, please um, like the video, um, comment if, you, if you're able to. Uh, comments that are both positive and negative are really welcome. Um, this hobby is all about learning and developing, so um, I welcome those. Let's get on with the video. Let's go and have a look at the layout, see what I've been getting on with this month. Since the last layout update video, I've added a few new items of scenery to the layout. Um, let's start at the wagon repair depot building. The building is um, it's not glued down yet. Um, it's still just uh, lightly in place. Uh, you can see, hopefully, if I sort of show you through here, that I've added some lifting jacks and some other um, scenic items in there as well. Just some pallets and uh, barrels. There's loads more that I'm going to add in here, um, but this is just a little flavour of what I've put together so far. I've also added in a strip of LEDs, which I think sets it off quite well. Um, I think the tone is just right as well for the sort of effect that I was going for. Um, so as I said, lots more details to add in here. Um, and the, the shed needs a bit more sort of weathering as well. It's a little bit too clean, but for now, um, it's looking good. Quite happy with that. Got the Acura scale buffer stocks, which I've just made a start on weathering as well i guess try and get the camera to focus here here we go so these um a great product by akira scale really well detailed um and uh whilst i've used the pico buffer stops in the past these really knocked them out of the park they're really really good you can also see about this little bit of detail here um, and i've just started to ballast around this area as well uh, to add a little bit of uh, ground cover there Moving away from the wagon repair depot building, I've added these two uh, yard lights. These are from Layouts For You, and uh, if you are if you want to pick some of these up, um, I'll leave a link to their website below. Um, I have no connection to them apart from just being a satisfied customer, um, and they've been a trader at our um, post-modernisation and uh, general Lincoln and District Model Railway Society exhibitions for the past few years, so um, know the guys uh, quite well. So they these are great, really easy to wire up. Um, they're just wired into the accessory bus, um, and they kind of remind me of like gate guardians in some ways. I didn't really mean to put them sort of side by side in this way, but um, do you know what? I think they look alright. Um, they look okay, sort of located in the static grass as well. Um, I need to do a bit of work on that. Um, I had a comment from a, a good friend of mine who uh, has uh, suggested that I use some different sort of lengths of static grass. It all looks a little bit too um, samey at the moment. Um, so that's in the uh, plans to do that. You'll also see that I've made a start on ballasting the points and other general areas. Please be aware that this is still drying um, I've only done this today and filming this on the 31st of May so um, it's still drying so it's not as neat as I would like it and I'll uh, go over that once it's dry this sort of chemical container I'm not sure about this it's not necessarily staying here I've uh, just popped it there for now just to see what it looks like but it'll probably be moved somewhere else as we move away from the wagon repair depot um, again, I've made a start on ballast in this point as well. This one's in a little bit more of a better condition. Um, again, the glue and ballast is still drying, so it's not the finished product. Um, the 37, yeah, I'm not sure where the body is. No, there's a, there's a story to this, and uh, I'll explain later why I've uh, removed the body shell of this Backman 37. Um, but for now, it's just sort of my test loco to uh, make sure that everything's running well. I'll probably swap it out for the 60 or something at some point. And then also just made a 
more of a start of adding some more sort of ballast and scatters over here as well. You'll notice that there's some new buildings. These are more just placeholder at the moment, um, just to give a bit of a feel for this area. Um, and I think I've decided now that the back scene is going to be um, sort of like a retaining wall. It's sort of like hem the yard in a little bit. Um, and then there's a Backman scene craft sort of office works building that I'm going to order to uh, sort of have that as the site office, which I think will look really nice as well to set all, this, all of this off. So, yeah, making good progress. Um, these things take time and um, we don't always have inspiration, but I'm uh, cracking on as much as I can. I'm quite happy with the, the setting for the layout as well. Um, it's not the biggest layout ever. Um, and uh, I realise there's probably flaws in the track plan already. Um, but do you know what? Just for playing trains on an evening with a couple of beers, it's going to be perfect for what I want want to do. Let's go and have a look at the filly yard now. I've been working on that too, on the filly yard. It's uh, still in progress. Um, but my plans are to add a Pico small radius uh, Y point, which is an electrofrog one, uh, further back here um, to open out into a couple of sort of holding sidings. You'll see that I've quickly wired up the Cobalt Alpha switch here, um, again with messy wiring. Um, but the points are all working now, which is uh, really nice to see. So I'll just demonstrate that now. Uh, these are the Cobalt um, slow action point motors. So you'll be able to see this throw across now. So you probably think they're a little bit noisy, but in practice, they're really well designed and uh, in terms of being slow action, uh, they're faultless really in that sense. So this area is still under development. Um, needs to tidy the wiring up and uh, get stuff running in and out a bit better. Um, but for now, I'm quite happy with where this is at. I'm trying to just sort of focus on the um, the main scenic board for now. I don't really need to have a properly working filly yard at the moment. Um, so uh, yeah, that's the filly yard. We'll just pan round to the uh, to the scenic section again. Um, and now I'm going to show you a new item of rolling stock which has come into the fleet this month. So let's go and have a look at that now. So this is the Hornby 09 which was a Model Zone exclusive um, way back in about 2010 um, it came out. Um, and I was quite keen to get a sort of depot shunter for the layout because predominantly um, sort of larger loco sixes such as 60s and 37s and 66s etc they're not going to be doing the bulk of the shunting work it'll be this um 09 so i'm really happy with it it's far too clean at the moment um so i'm looking forward to getting some weathering um completed on it and um, i've already looked at some photos on Flickr, and uh, it was quite heavily faded um when it was in service so um, that's going to be a little project longer term down the line. Um, it's going to go away to Richard at Road and Rails to be sound fitted um, and to have lights fitted as well. So uh, looking forward to getting that in the post soon um, and have that sort of trundling around the layout. But I think for now, um, it's a great little model, the Hornby 09 and the Hornby 08, to be honest. Um, I've had a Backman version in the past and uh, I think I prefer the Hornby version to be honest. It's just a little bit finer. Um, I think the mechanism is better as well. Um, I, I just think they run better, um, particularly on DCC. Um, so yeah, really good addition to the fleet. Um, didn't pay over the odds for it. Probably could have been a little bit cheaper, but um, we all know what the price of model railways are like these days. And uh, gone are the days where you can pick up a 40 pound 08 from Backman, so. For the take the rough with the smooth, I guess. But yeah, really happy with this loco. Um, a great addition to the fleet. Um, and as I said, looking forward to getting sound and lights on it. So there we are for this month. Quite a quick layout update. Um, there's a few things that have been done on the layout. 
few little projects to get on with. Um, like I said in the video, um, looking at the ceiling section, looking to get some retaining walls ordered and uh, the Backman Seacraft building, and that will really start to set off that part of the scene quite well. Um, aside from that, um, just looking to develop the smaller details a bit more, adding in some more static graphs and uh, adding some more uh, foliage into the um, into the uh, sh uh, shared and scenic sections as well. So lots to be getting on with um, just trying to keep the inspiration going um, and uh, yeah, looking to uh, get on with some more projects over time as well. So anyway, that's May's layout update. Hopefully there'll be a bit more content in June um, once we get on with the filly yard and some other bits as well and got a renumbering project um, on the go with a Hornby Class 60 in the load hall. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to document the progress of that a little bit more as well. Maybe show you how to uh, uh, renumber um, locos um, as well. Maybe I can do a little feature on that. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been short, um, but if you can give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not already, already doing so, I'd really appreciate that. Hope you have a good week. Take care of yourselves. Um, enjoy modeling and uh, hope to see you again soon. Thanks guys, cheers. Well, hello there and welcome back to Denton Lane Wagon Repair Depot. This is the late, yeah, there, 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 there. Well, welcome back to, no, what am I saying?